Hey, what's up guys? This is Andrew Dio and today I'm gonna take you through a day in life with me for Buhu Man. Alright guys, so I just finished my cardio session. I did 45 minutes on empty stomach. I just had my breakfast which is 6 grams of oatmeal, 10 egg whites, handful of berries and I just added a little bit of sweetener just to make it a little bit sweet but right now I'm gonna go up get changed because it's back day and we are ready to go smash this session I'm gonna show you guys what exercise I do on back day how many reps how many sets and yeah that's pretty much it let's go get changed I'm just gonna get a pre-workout in yeah. then try to wake up changes when you're closer to a show so like you increase your cardio routine you increase the intensity a little bit because you're trying to keep as much size and fullness as you can when your calories are low but in terms of exercises or uh, intensity is always has to be 110 percent and another thing like when you get ready for a show you're trying to improve whatever weak points you go so like for example if you're arms are a little bit smaller or your back or whatever you're trying to train that group of muscle two times in a week rather than once so like if i would be off season not competing i would just train everything once a week but if i'm getting ready for a show and i'm trying to improve that group of muscle i would make sure i train two times a week my day splits so i don't have like monday i train chest tuesday back and so on so like i train monday whatever i train and then i just go with the flow but I will never do push after push. So if I do chest on Monday, I will never do shoulders on a Tuesday. So I try to do like push, pull, legs kind of thing. But when I do push, I only do chest or shoulders. I don't do chest and shoulders in the same day. Song. I don't have like a favorite song that I like to work out on, but I like Deep House, rave music. I don't know why I like to train on that kind of music. It just puts me in a good mood. And I also like hip hop or rap, so whatever they play in the gym, I don't really mind. Like, I'm there to train, not to listen to music, you know? This is gonna be the last exercise cable row, 
Give it a rose. Alright guys, so that was my bag workout. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, we are off now to get some pictures. We're gonna do a food shopping and I'll show you what I eat most workout. training oh my god it's been 10 11 years that I've been training so I started when I was 15 years old I'm 25 now so 10 11 years what made me start was actually the fact that I was overweight growing up mm -hmm. so when I was back home in Romania I was getting bullied uh, I look fat oh fat kid blah 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 you know so when I got here I said you know like I haven't got anything to do let, let me just you know get a membership try and lose some weight and just feel confident about myself and then one year gone by, I start making some friends and I just saw results and from there, here we are. What motivated me to start competing? I just wanted to see the full potential of myself and, you know, just... Uh, exp what do you say? Uh, just show on stage my hard work that I've been working for, you know? But I wasn't thinking, oh my God, I'm going to compete and I'm going to become... I'm going to compete at Olympia one day. Like, it was just purely for myself, you know? We're getting some asparagus because it's good for the water retention. On prep, I usually have it every other meal just because it gets rid of the water retention. And then, you know, guys, to get a good quality protein in, we're getting some chicken breast. I usually just go and buy it every day because I like keeping it fresh, so... I don't like buying in a bulk. Alright, so we got some baby potatoes right here. Good source of carbs. Easy to digest and very tasty if you put them in the air fryer. And of course we need some eggs in the morning. Alright, so we got some salmon this is already cooked so I'm just gonna warm it up and have it then this is a good source of protein good source of fats I usually have this before bed because it's slower on the digestion so throughout the night uh, you'll keep your uh, stomach and your body full and we're getting some uh, Greek yogurt this is zero fat I can have this hey <laughs> Get this. <laughs> so yeah, zero fat Greek yogurt. Uh, this is actually good for a snacking. I put just mixed berries, a little bit of uh, sweetener and uh, granola. Healthy snack. Uh, when I had the muscle tear in my triceps, this being in Dubai, yeah, so it put me out of two weeks. I, I couldn't be training, I couldn't even be washing my head because every time I would do that, it, I would just feel it here. So I think that was uh, that was my injury. But thank God I, I found a good doctor and now I have no injury, no problem. So we have around 40 to 50 grams of protein from the chicken, 30 grams of uh, carbs from the baby potatoes, and a little bit of asparagus, and this is my puzzle covered meal. And that was a day in life with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to enjoy the expo for me, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.